Here's how to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So on your computer, if you look down here by the clock, after you've done all your updates, you'll see a little window icon that wasn't there before. And if you don't see this, then make sure you go to Windows Update and get all your updates. And if you click it, it's going to ask you if you want to get Windows Update uh, to Windows 10 for free. And if you agree to it, then your computer will automatically download it on July 29th. So July 29th is when this happens. And it will give you the same version that you had of either Windows 7 or Windows 8. So if you had Professional or Ultimate or Home, you know, whichever version you had, it'll give you the Windows 10 version of that version for free. And they're going to start charging money for it after they give it away for free. I think they just want to get early adopters involved. So the question is, is it worth it and should you do it? And that's really up to you. I know when I switched from Windows 7 to Windows 8 on one of my computers, my video editing program, uh, Pinnacle Studio, didn't work anymore. Um, video games wouldn't play anymore. So if you're going from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or from Windows 7 to Windows 8, but it, it, with this free upgrade, you will see this free upgrade available in Windows 7 as well as in Windows 8. And if you go from Windows 7 to Windows 10, it's very likely that a lot of your programs won't work anymore. So you want to check with the manufacturer of your program before you do it. If I was in an office environment and I had a lot of custom programs running on my computers and I was an IT admin, I would not upgrade. I would keep them on Windows 7 just to be safe and make sure everything worked. So that's the real danger there. If all you do is browse the internet and, and goof around on your computer and, and don't have a lot of programs that you need to run on it, for sure, in, and you're in Windows 7, then go ahead and upgrade. Or if you're in Windows 8, go ahead and upgrade if you're just a web browser type of guy. But that is July 29th is the date that it's going to download it, and then it'll notify you and tell you go ahead and hit the install button, and then you'll install it on that day.